Hey guys, what's good in the running hood? Uh, this is the follow-up video to my previous video about the Ultra Superior 2.0 version 2. My first impressions of that shoe. And this is the first run video, so if you haven't seen the other video and you'd like to see it, link up above. Now, Ultra does not call this shoe the Superior 2.0 uh, version 2. But it is, uh, there's, you know, there's some differences to it. One major difference is they increased the sizing. So it went up half size. There was an issue with that. And then you get the new color patterns with the waffle pattern. So if you're on their website and you want to know which one's the version 2, it's the one that's going to have the new color pattern. And you'll click in and go into the description. And it'll say about the half size up. And that's that. And they're still 8.7 ounces, 21 millimeter stack height. So you got a light cushion shoe and you get the removable stone guards that come with the shoe. Now, I was originally going to do a test run on these without the stone guard to see, you know, see how they did without the stone guard. And I, I did do that. So I ran a 10K with the stone guards in, and then I ran an additional 3.3 additional miles with the stone guards out. So the first run, you know, as soon as I took off, uh, I pretty much immediately noticed a little pinky toe issue with the, with the rubber bending over and pinching the pinky toe. Now it wasn't doing it the entire run, it was just when my, when my foot would land a certain way I would notice it. And it wasn't terrible, it was probably something I would... I would get used to, I guess. It didn't seem like it was going to cause a huge problem, but you know, just thought I'd note that. And it was only, it was only on the left foot, and I, I think that probably after it would just, after it would bend so many times and break in right there, that it would probably eventually not even touch my toe. I mean, I don't know for sure. So that was an issue I noticed, and as soon as I started going up the first hill. I noticed uh, some heel slippage in the back, actually a lot of heel slippage. Now I I'd already noticed that when I tried the shoes on because I'm very particular about my right foot. My right foot has heel slippage issues in every shoe, so just let you guys know that. But I can always remedy it by just lacing my shoe tighter or using the, the lace lock system to really you know, clamp down the, the ankle and heel. So I can usually always remedy it, and I thought I'd done that with these but I had them so laced up so tight to not feel the the heel slipping and I thought it might be uncomfortable on the run so I loosened it a little bit and it still felt like it was pretty good but as soon as I started running as soon as I started going uphill it was like I thought my foot was gonna come out of the shoe so so yeah that's not good and I think part of it is this really cushioned ankle area it's almost like a skate shoe and I imagine I hope when that really starts to you know wear down and gets a little tighter when i when i'll be able to tighten the shoe properly and know that it's you know locked in there's not that cushion given that false impression that my foot's in there appropriately I, I don't know that's an assumption i'm gonna lace them down tighter next time and see what happens i hope that that's not a continuing issue because it'll ruin the shoe for me and i won't be able to run in them so that's not cool and yeah, let's see some other things I noticed. Uh, you know, without the stone guards, it was probably a little too, little too responsive for me, a little too much ground feel. So you know, like it's, it's just rocks and roots around here, man. Rocks, roots, gravel, and you get a little bit of dirt in between. I've heard of these mythical buffed out single track trails, but we do not have those around here. It is just like. Pretty gnarly stuff. I get some, you know, I get some fields, a little cross country action here and there, but for the most part, it's just rocks and roots. So, so I could really, you know, really had good ground feel. Absolutely, probably a little too much for for my taste, and maybe it's just because I'm used to a more uh, a more beefed up uh, trail shoe, you know, that has a it's it's you know it's got more cushioning, but it's got some really gnarly tread on it too. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a minute when I start talking about mud show you my other shoe that I usually run in so yeah you know a little maybe a little too much ground feel but the fit you know the fits great I think I have to size my shoes to my right foot because my right foot is bigger than my left foot so my left foot's always a little bigger or whatever but uh, it's just something I've had to get used to 
to to size my shoes properly with the with the right foot being bigger i don't want that foot you know really tight in a shoe and it you know the right one felt great and the left one felt great so that was you know that was good the only the only time i noticed an issue with the left shoe was on some downhill with some forward slippage of my feet but i also didn't have the left shoe quite as tight because i was able to lock the heel in on my left no problem so i wasn't really i wasn't thinking about downhills later and i could have i could have tightened those and been comfortable and probably remedied that downhill situation but uh i'll find out next time i mean the slippage wasn't terrible and like i said i can lace the shoes up tighter so we'll see how that goes but the the responsiveness downhill was nice and it was great to have this you know the the spread out toes and it just it, it was pretty cool and it actually takes you a minute to 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 be to you're, it seems like it take for me it takes a minute for my feet to relax in the foot shaped toe box because you're so used to you know your toes being jammed up in traditional shoes and my Saucony Peregrine trail shoes are definitely like that so I noticed that in my road shoes too, that it kind of took me a minute. And then finally, it's just your foot, in my situation, my foot would relax and it just definitely becomes a better experience. So I imagine that's going to be the same with the trail shoes too. And these things, I hit up as much mud as I could and they really do displace mud quite well. Because I mean, look how spread out they put the lugs and the, the negative spaces didn't seem to hold mud. And it just seemed like I... It's, it seemed like they did very well in mud. I mean, depending on the kind of mud you're going through, pretty much any shoe's not, not going to do very well, really. But as far as holding the mud and after you get out of the mud, these things were great. And I mean, to give you an idea, I mean, look how spread out these lugs are. And then look, I mean, look at all those lugs. There's a lot of lugs and a lot of lugs to hold mud. And another thing is, look at how Look at how big the peregrine lugs are and how deep and gnarly and nasty they are. You know, like those things are beast. And then, you know, the superiors aren't aren't as bad. And I mean, these are great, especially maybe on these mythical uh, buffed out trails I was talking about where you don't have a lot of roots and stuff to get hung up on or roots to trip over. These I know these have tripped me up before. I know those lugs have tripped me up. Because yesterday on the same, or a couple days ago when I ran in these, the same trail I run on all the time, I didn't trip. I didn't trip at all, and I didn't have to be as hypersensitive about it, it seemed, with with these. And these did very well on that trail, so I don't think I needed that. I don't need that crazy, aggressive traction of the Peregrine. You know, these seem to be very adequate, so... I don't know, you know, I've had runs in the Peregrines before where I didn't trip up on the lugs and, you know, it was it was fine. So maybe I just got lucky my first time out on these and it has nothing to do with that. But I, I don't know, I mean, it seems to make sense to me. It seems like all those lugs and they're so deep and sticking, you know, a root could hit. I mean, look at that, a root's going to hit that. So it just seems less likely with these. I don't know, anyway, going off on a little bit of a tangent there. You know, let's see what other issues and concerns that I have about the shoe initially. I was worried about breathability and uh, holding water with that, you know, that toe ram that goes back so far. And, you know, how is it going to, how is it going to drain water and stuff? Now, I didn't go through any deep puddles. I didn't fully submerge the foot. But the little bit of water that I did experience in these, I was quite surprised. It, it seemed to displace the water, you know, quite well and was really really a, a breathable shoe i was pretty impressed with it. i mean it was only 50 i think it was 50 degrees out so it's not like it was super hot out or anything but uh as far as you know heating up because of that and the drainage it, it seemed to do really well actually I was, I was i was pretty surprised by that we'll see how it goes i'll fully submerge it here in a race coming up and i'm gonna do another review on these 100 miles in to give a you know an update on 100 miles in we'll see how this thing holds up and i'm gonna fully submerge it and see how it does uh when it's just soaking wet so yeah that's with the stone guard and then i went back to my car or sorry that was without the stone guards i went back to my car put the stone guards in did another 3.3 miles so I did a total of nine and a half miles in the shoe the first you know first run in them and i immediately i immediately preferred the stone guards in. i didn't think that i would but i actually did 
And one thing that I noticed is that issue I told you about with the pinky toe. I might have noticed it once or twice, maybe, you know, but it seemed to remedy that. I thought lifting me up a little bit higher would make it worse, you know, because I'd be closer to that rubber piece, but it it seemed to go around it or I don't know. It, was, it wasn't an issue anymore, so that was really cool. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, and just, there, I didn't really seem to lose a ton of responsiveness. They seem to be a good ground feel still. Ground feel still. Um, flexibility was great. It, I actually, I preferred it. I just, I felt more comfortable. I felt, I, I felt like I could be, uh, I didn't feel like I had to be as much as a uh, cautious, you know, having the rock played in. So maybe, maybe it was a mental thing. Maybe, you know, the rock played out would be fine. I just need to get over the mental aspect. Well, I don't have the rock plate protection. Who knows, but I, you know, and I, pref I preferred it. And like I said, you know, I'm used to running these and they got a killer rock plate in them, you know, so maybe it's a mental thing. But for now, I personally, I prefer the rock plate in, the stone guards in, whatever you want to call them. So I'll probably continue to run with the stone guards in. That's probably going to be my preferred way to run in these. Oh, let's see. What else, guys? I, d I don't want to miss anything. Uh... I think that's it. Oh, the the lace holes. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. The lace holes kind of have a pretty big opening in them, so I'm pretty sure grit's gonna be able to get in there. And that was one of the reasons I believed to use this kind of material was to reduce grit getting in. So I think maybe that's gonna let some grit in. I don't know. Like, it's not a huge concern with me, anyways. But uh, I don't know. Thought I'd point that out. I didn't seem to, I didn't seem to really have a problem with any grit in my shoes. Maybe a little bit. I I don't remember to be honest. Uh, and it looks like the the gusseted tongue, you know, covers the uh, covers those holes down there anyway. So I don't know. Thought I'd point it out. But what do I say? What's my grade? What do I think? I give these shoes a a good grade. I don't know, I'm not gonna do it. like I would give it a B plus. I don't know. I liked them. I'm gonna run in them. I'm gonna run 25k race in them. So I'll give you an update. 100 miles in. Oh, uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, do all that YouTube stuff. And as always, happy trails.